First up, Richard, listening in Washington. Hi, Richard. Um, I have a scripture question for you, Mr. Hanegraaff. It's regarding 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 10, where it says, uh, For this reason, the woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her head because of the angels. And it's that last part, because of the angels. I have no clue what the Apostle Paul was talking about there. I was wondering if you can help me on that aspect of that verse. Yeah, I think this is a fantastic example of why we should always interpret Scripture in light of Scripture. Angels are spectators of the church. Now, we don't have to go far. We can look in Paul's epistle to the Corinthians, in fact, the first letter, and find that that is so. We can also find that that is so in other places, like 1 Timothy chapter 5. And as such, what they witness as holy representatives of God really does make a difference. And all the more then, how we would express our respect within the context of the church, within the context of the body of Christ, and our worship of the Lord really does matter. Let me also say that what's really important for me in this question is I have learned something over the last 10 years or so, and that is not to go into church expecting a concert or expecting some kind of an experience or even a great sermon, as wonderful as all of that is. No knock on it. But I and my family now walk into church with a completely different attitude. And that attitude is, we are there to worship God. We are there to experience the real presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And for us, that makes all the difference in the world. And this is not unique to my particular fellowship of believers. I experienced this many, many years ago as the progeny of Watchman Nee were expressing that very same sense of worship and where I saw life exhibited in such powerful form that I wondered, do I have a lot of truth and little life? And is that a problem? And the answer, of course, has been a resounding yes. But to finish up this particular phrase, concerning the angels as spectators, remember Paul says within the same letter, as I just mentioned, that we apostles have been made a spectacle to the whole universe. And then he says something very telling. He says to angels as well as to men which means that the angels are looking on. And again, what we do really does matter. What do angels do? They worship God. And we're called to follow in their train. I hope that helps, Richard. 